Hey babes and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are the McKnight Twins. My name is Abby. My name is Emily. Thank you for clicking on this video and thank you also to our returning babes. We love you. Emily and I are doing a little random video today it's gonna mm -hmm. be we just posted on instagram for you babes to ask us questions because we haven't done a q a in a long time and we're probably gonna make some dinner and eat it later while we answer questions we're not really entirely sure yet what we're yeah. what the plan is but what we do know is that we are going to start this video out with a white fox haul for yes. you guys which we are always so beyond excited for because White Fox just has the cutest stuff. We're actually gonna do the haul a little bit differently this time. We're actually gonna try them on and then talk about the pieces while we're wearing them. And we're gonna see if you guys, like what you guys have to say about that, if you guys like that better, or maybe just sometimes we'll do it like this. Yeah, let us know what you guys think because we do think it might be better for you guys to see it for longer because I know sometimes we get comments saying that you guys wish we would do the try on clips for a little bit longer. So mm -hmm. this way, if we're talking about it while we're wearing it, you guys can really get a good look at it. Yeah, and we're not just showing the best angles. You guys will see like a little bit more realistic. Yeah. Because let's be real, like we, it's easy to pose kind of and make your body look good, but sometimes when you're just like talking and you're acting natural, like your body's not gonna be in the best pose. That's just yeah. so normal. But unfortunately, I'm not even fake tanned right now, so I'm not even gonna feel very confident. <laughs> That's I, okay. My confidence like levels very so much yeah depending on if i'm fake tanned or not same and i'm pretty pale right now so yeah just like picture everything with the tan so if you guys do want to order anything from white fox we do have a discount code which is mcknight wf which gives you 15 percent off of your order and they also offer afterpay to us new zealand and australian customers and express worldwide shipping so highly recommend the express shipping so you get your stuff quick you don't want to wait yeah i'm impatient yeah i need it asap so yeah. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're starting off with these cute little pajama sets. So I cute. feel like White Fox has been coming out with the cutest pajamas. I know. And the cutest colors, mm -hmm. especially this baby blue. I feel like it's like the cutest, like yes. girliest mm -hmm. pajama color. And it's just so, oh, it's just so cute. Especially I feel like with blonde hair. Yeah. I feel like it's so cute. I agree. So this is called the Girl Talk Pajama Set and I got it in a size small. And they fit so good. They're so stretchy and comfortable. And they make your booty look, I don't want to be too yeah. revealing. No, but it looks they, phenomenal. They do wonders for yeah. the booty. So if you want a cute pajama set to impress your man, or just for yourself, yeah. but especially like for your man, I feel like they love these. They're so cute while still being comfy. They're so soft. The material so is like so stretchy, but like you're not gonna be hot because it's a nice thin material. Yeah. But this is called the Don't Wake Me Up, right? Black mm -hmm. set. And this is a, these are long pants. They, they go a little flare down to the ankle and they're a little bit flared. And I just feel like this is so stinking cute and cozy, it is. comfy. And who doesn't love a good cozy pajama set? Yeah. You can't go wrong. And like I said, this material is so nice because it's thin, but not too thin. It's not see-through or anything, but it's not going to make you sweaty and hot if you're in bed, you know? Right. So, we love. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Need all the colors. Agree. Babes, we are obsessed with this sweat set. I haven't gotten a sweat set from them in a long time because I have so many. So, it was overdue that i got a new one yeah we didn't get any last time so we needed one and we wanted this a twin one. you guys this oh. one is the cutest i really i'm obsessed this might be my favorite white fox sweat set that i have i'm just obsessed with the shade of pink that's mm -hmm. on it it's like the most perfect yes bright baby pink and yes. of course as you guys know the lounge sets are the comfiest best like we live in these i feel live. like anyone who buys one white fox lounge set you have to buy another. You're never going to be satisfied with just one. You need multiple. Oh, yeah. You definitely need multiple. They're so soft. And the inside is fleece lined. So you just feel like you're wearing a blanket. But this is called the Comfort, Comfort. Club. And we get the hoodie in a medium large. And then the sweats in a small. Yeah. And I'm obsessed like, with this font. Yeah. How cute is that? I feel like it's way cuter in person. The lighting is making it a little bit brighter. Yeah. But it's still so cute. And this is another 10 out of 10. You guys. You're kidding. <laughs> you are joking. This is so hot. 
so hot. So I feel hot. like Kim Kardashian. I know. That's she would like, totally wear this. She would totally wear this. She would absolutely. Survive. The way that this fits yeah. and like sucks you in in all the right places, mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah. This is a perfect date night dress in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's so sexy yeah. and fun. Yes, yeah, so you will capture everybody's attention when you wear this. It's called the Love is Gone Maxi Dress. We got a size small. Yeah. And although it's leather, sometimes leather dresses intimidate me because they can be really restricting and this isn't restricting. Like we can no. walk around, there's a slit in the back of it. I feel like I could even so, do a squat. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it's gonna come down. Like, no, it's although not it's strapless, at all. like it's it's, it's staying put because there is this little rubber lining here that keeps it in place. So yeah, we love, of I'm, course. <laughs> yeah, I am beyond obsessed, and this is you need. I'm obsessed, obsessed <laughs> with the denim on denim. Me too. I wish I got this. <laughs> I love wearing outfits like this that are a little bit more like out there. But obviously this isn't like that crazy. Like don't I'm not gonna be self conscious if I go I was out wearing gonna it. Gonna say it's like it's a statement, but it's not like. You feel weird about it. Exactly. It's yeah. very flattering too. Mm -hmm. Yes, I it feel is. like that is very flattering. Mm -hmm. But we both have the same pair of jeans on. What jeans are these called? Do we know? These are called the Did You Miss Me oh. jean. I believe that's what they're called. Like, they're so cute, the little oh. cherries. They're so it's cute. It's the details for us. Yes. But we get these jeans in a size small. I don't know what this top is called. I was trying to find the tag, but I love it so much. It's so summery so it's gonna be perfect for for summer mm -hmm. i think and i just think it's so flattering and cute i love the top part like how the cut of it what is mm -hmm. that called? i don't know what cut that is the but, neckline like the sweet yeah it's almost like a sweetheart but it has like ruffling yeah and that's so cute and girly yeah i love that and it fits like a glove it's so cute and I cannot wait to wear this, especially when I have a tan, y'all. I'm so obsessed cute. with everything so far. I'm so excited to show you guys. It's so much fun, like doing a little <laughs> runway for our besties. Like, I know. Showing them what we got. I'm like, Ugh. I think we need to do our try-ons like this from now on. We're saying it's so much more fun to do it like this. So why? Yeah. I don't know why we haven't been doing it like this. We've been <laughs> messing, We've been messing up. up. We've been messing up. <laughs> Cute. I know. I'm this obsessed. is giving everything. I don't think I would wear this to the gym like this set. I think this is more of like a walking vibe. Or a walk. Yeah, or like on vacation when you're going to get a coffee. Yeah. If you lived in LA, I could see the girls like wearing this while walking down the street going to Air One to get their $40 smoothie. Right, that's yeah. so true. That's exactly the vibe. It's giving that for sure. And this color is the most stunning pink. They have the pink shades down. They really do. They do. They know exactly yeah. the type of pink that we all want. And that material is everything. Yes. I have this sports bra in two colors, so Emily needed it yeah, too. Yeah, it makes the girls look so phenomenal. Cool. It's called the High Definition Sports Bra. We get in a size small. It has push-up pads, so thank you, White Fox, for doing that. Yeah, right. Like We that appreciate that so much because... Seriously. There's nothing worse than your boobs looking sad in a sports bra. Um, and then these are called the Keep Up Shorts, I believe. And they're both a size small. And then it just has the little White Fox Active logo right here, which I think is a cute little detail. And oh, just can't get over it. Can't I get know. Over it. I can't get over that either. Okay, and then what I'm wearing is this long sleeve black play suit. And I thought originally that this was pajamas, and it totally could be for lounging around the house like pajama vibes, but it could also definitely be dressed up to like go out and about for yeah. shopping, for lunch, yes. something casual. With like some knee high boots. Yeah, knee high mm -hmm. boots, black sunnies, black bag. Yes. It is a vibe and it's so comfy and like really thick. Mm -hmm. I love the material of this. So mm -hmm. it almost is like a little bit spandexy, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, but not too much. Right. So. It was a definitely a different material than I expected. But I absolutely love it and I think it's so cute. Okay, so these next outfits are a little bit more fancy dress up vibes, mm -hmm. special occasion. Yes. This dress I thought would be perfect for my honeymoon in Tulum. That I think so it's good. so yeah, it's like giving bride, but I love that. tropical kind of bride. I need to step out of the frame. You need to have your moment. Because really? I'm obsessed with I, that dress yeah, on you. I can't you. wait to wear this in Mexico. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's perfect. I'm jealous. I know, you might need... They had it in baby blue, but it sold out. And I'm like, oh, baby no. blue would be so cute. That would be so cute. Right? I know. It's very stretchy and very comfortable. And it's, it's like... It hugs your body in all the right spots. Yeah, and it has a slit in the back, so it's really easy to walk in. I it's just love. really... Flattering and cute. I'll come back. Okay. <laughs> My outfit lonely. is just a lot more like fun and more of like a party girl vibe, not a bride. Maybe a bachelorette party. Uh, there's so many fun 
nights out that you could wear this i feel like yeah and pink will never go out of style i'm so happy it's really in right now but for me it's always been in and it will always stay in yeah i'm just happy to see brands having more outfit choices with pink mm -hmm. because it is just the most fun girly color and i just love it this it's is so cute this is called the disco heaven top and skirt both are in a size small my boobs feel very secure i don't feel like they're gonna pop out um, the skirt isn't too tight. I wish it was a little bit tighter. But yeah, these are both fun so and fun. fresh and flirty. We yes. love these. They're so cute and we can't wait to wear them. Okay, last thing I want to share is this bikini. Abby has already finished showing all of her outfits. The material of this bikini is so sturdy. Like, it's very stiff, but not too stiff to the point where you feel restricted. But I know that it's not going anywhere. Nothing is going to accidentally come out to play. Um, everything is very secure and held in place. And the bottoms are very cheeky, but I love that, especially for tanning. I just think this is so cute, and this makes me so excited for summer and our Mexico trip coming up because I'm definitely packing this and bringing it with me. So now we are going to head to the store, and I think we're going to go ahead and get some ingredients to make a yummy dinner. We were going to do something healthy, but I think we want to make some sandwiches. We'll see. Okay, besties. So this is what we're going to make because it just looks too damn good. Busting. I've had this saved on Pinterest for so long, but I just never got around to making it. So when I showed Emily the picture, she said, yeah. Yeah, we that. need. I love They're not healthy. No. Sadly. I love a warm sandwich. We will link the recipe. Yeah. But. but first we have the best Hawaiian rolls. These are so good. And then it says to get ham, so we went with honey ham from the deli. Got pepperoni and salami, and then we got provolone cheese, and then hot banana pepper rings. I've never heard them be called pepper rings, like <laughs> pepperoncinis. Yeah. Um, we have some salted butter, and then the we, this isn't in the recipe, but I I need something like fresh. Crunchy. I also think it would be good to like. Like when people like toss shredded lettuce with like red wine oh, vinegar and mm -hmm. like salt and pepper, olive oil. Yeah, we'll do that. So the first step of the sandwiches is to layer the ham. A thin I, layer I of just ham. I half a pound. I don't know if that's enough. Um, but I think it should be. Top with salami. I love salami. This smells so good. I love salami too. It kind of grosses me out a little bit, but it, it's still delicious. Like the idea of it. Because I'm like, what is that? You know? We don't know. We don't yeah, even you ever know. just look at it, you're like, wait, what is even no. in that? I try not or... to think about that. Yeah, I know. A layer of pepperoni and a layer of provolone. Yeah, I feel like here. this would be so good to make in the summer. Like, oh, yeah. When you're having, like, a little tanning pool day. Yeah, I was actually thinking about how sandwiches remind me of, like, summertime. Yeah. Because we love having those when we go boating or when we're just chilling outside in the nice warm sun. It's such a... Just refreshing and delicious meal. Maybe even we could bring these like boating. We're just gonna add some pepperoncinis. It said one third cup. But we're just gonna kind of measure with our with our boobs. <laughs> Shut up. So the recipe doesn't call for this, but Emily says insists that we put some mayo on. Yeah, because what? Uh, there's no, I feel like no sauce. You can't go wrong with mayo. And this is light mayo, so we're just gonna do. A little bit of that because I've made these kind of sliders before and it needed. Be dry. Yeah. I think that luckily the pepperoncinis will be juicy and the cheese will melt, but this will be good. Yeah, we need we need some like something to add some moisture. But I think the butter on top too will add some. It will, but I want a little bit of this on the inside. Yeah, no. It's okay. It's it's light meal, so it's and I mean we're not putting that much on each piece. Last step, we're doing the melted butter with Italian seasoning. Yeah. Brushing it over. Hold on, I'm gonna come around. This is gonna be so good. I'm I so know. excited. I'm gonna get the sides too. And then while these are baking, we're gonna sip on a little bit of wine and answer questions for you guys. Yes. It's wine time, y'all. Oh, that was so satisfying. See, it gets sucked up. <laughs> I know, this thing is amazing. I know, we love electric wine if openers. You don't have one, get to it. You need it. Yeah, so. Riesling is tonight's choice. Dry Riesling, I guess, is more healthy, so I'm assuming it's less sweet. Yeah, we love Riesling. I love Riesling, yeah. Like regular sweet sugary Riesling, we love. Mm, me too. Yeah, I mean, we're probably gonna end up finishing this bottle between the two of us, but for now, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. All right, it's time to answer your burning questions. <laughs> I actually am surprised we did get quite a bit. Hold on, let me refresh this to see if there's anything new. I don't know how juicy these will be, but 
proof. <laughs> we got, oh, that was not all of them. We got questions on questions Maybe on questions. Maybe sh should we like go down to the bottom and see who asks first? First of all, let's take a sip. <laughs> well, let me scoot it back. Take a big a sip. Okay. Cheers. Don't have to twist my arm. <sighs> so refreshing. Before we get started, we want you guys to get comfy. Grab something to drink, doesn't have to be alcohol. Doesn't have to be wine. Okay, so a lot of these are very like wholesome, just questions about our life. So the first one is, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? Which is a question that I really dread. Loki, Honestly, that's like stressful. I'm sorry, like that's a great question to ask people, but I don't really have an answer for that because I don't I do. know. You do. 10 years. Um, okay. You're gonna have twin daughters. Oh, I would love that. We're gonna, we're gonna be neighbors. <laughs> Mm. This You're is like my dream. dream. This is my like dream, Delulu. dream life in ten years. Uh, we're neighbors, or we're, we live within twenty minutes. I might have another kid. I don't know yet. We will probably have, get that question. Yeah, we got that question a so lot. So I'll go in more depth about that question later. But I might have another baby. I obviously Emily will be with Igor. I will be with Jake, and Ideally. we'll be living our best life. Yes, hopefully. Financially more financially free and stable and that's all where are all of Abby's wedding photos. Oh my god I know what I really need to post those I have yeah. them so the reason thing I'm glad someone brought this up <laughs> <laughs> Because I feel weird about it. Um, Why? I feel like people probably think it's like I'm not like posting because I'm like either a I don't like him or B because like Jake and I aren't doing well Oh. That's just like what and where I would think my my mind goes. You, you're just not an active social media girl. I, I'm not, but also the pictures took so long. But also another reason is they're very long and skinny. So it's really hard to make um, them fit on Instagram. You post one on your story and then yes. have a highlight. The st I might just, maybe yeah, I could just do, do that. that. Yeah, just do that. But I still want them on my feed because they're so you special. You could find one. You could find one to post on your But phone. I love my wedding pictures. They will be, I'm going to eventually post them. But I guess I just, because it took so long, I kind of lost interest. And then I just honestly just haven't got around to it. Yeah. I'm the worst. No, that makes I, I kind of feel, it's hopefully okay. that makes sense to somebody, but that's okay. I don't know. <laughs> they're coming <laughs> and they are beautiful. I've seen them and yeah. they're great. She needs to post them. Okay. I will. I will post them. So a lot of people asked about my Ozempic or semaglutide update, which it is semaglutide. I still don't really know if like they're the same thing, but it's not the brand Ozempic. It's, it's a non FDA approved version of it, which I only took it for five weeks. You guys, I feel like people still think I'm on it and I stopped it before Christmas because I wanted to enjoy the holidays and not be disgusted miserable. by food and weak and miserable as much as it was great to see weight loss it really crippled me in like the gym in my productivity levels like i i wanted to be in bed a lot of the time and it was just not not good for me for my mental health in that way mm -hmm. like it was obviously nice to have a push and i'm really grateful that i did it and i'm glad i did it because it really did teach me like how to be more cautious of what I'm eating because I am a little bit more cautious now. I did have a binge eating problem before, which is why I took it. And I think it did help with that. Mm -hmm. So I did lose a lot of weight. I lost 16 pounds, which is a lot, which yeah. some people like, I mean, I didn't even realize it was that much or that obvious, but I guess it was because a lot of people were commenting on it. But when you're like, you see yourself every day, you don't really see it. And also when you're kind of already, you're, she wasn't overweight or like big by any means. So sometimes when you're st already kind of small, you just have a little extra to lose. Like 16 pounds looks like a lot on someone who's not overweight. Well, and I'm 5'5", five five, so, or 5'5 five five and 3 quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Almost 5'6". Yeah. So it's not like I'm really short and that was like a lot. But I'm glad I did it. I'm done. I don't think I'll ever do it again. It was a good experience. Abby actually tried it. I tried it and I hated, she hated it. it. I'll too. never do it again. So she if you ever see it. me looking skinny, not on Ozempic, yeah. but I probably will never get that skinny. Okay. Anyways. Anyways yeah. Okay. Along. A lot of people asked about if I think Igor is going to propose or if I want him to, of course I want him to, but I don't know when and I don't want to know when. Yeah. And I'm not rushing him. Like, I want him to do it on his terms. I don't want him to be pressured or forced, which yeah. I do love when you guys comment in my pictures. We like, put a ring on it and you tag him. I think that's hilarious and amazing, but. I think every girl loves that. Yeah. I'm every like, girl yeah, loves that's right. man to like, be like, see that? But trust me, he's getting the pressure from a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not trying to, I'm, you're I'm not. staying out of it. You're the not. minute you tell but me. But you better help him. Oh, I will. Okay. I'm hoping he comes. 
comes to me for help, he better. Mm. Jake asked Emily for help. Do you guys use tanning beds? No, we have not in a long time. But I plan to. Every time I have a vacation or like a trip booked and I know I'm gonna be in the sun or even if it's just summertime is approaching, I will get a month out of desert yeah, sun. I, we, I do one month out of the year that I will allow myself a tanning bed. Maybe two. But only because we live in Washington State and we cannot lay out. Like there's no yeah. opportunity for that. If we were that. to just go on a vacation, like that, like we would burn so bad. So yeah. Or be, so. It's, I think it, sometimes it's fine. Do you two ever fight or go through periods of needing space? We definitely argue and like we get very annoyed with each other sometimes, but it doesn't happen very often. Yeah, the only time I really ever like get, Whenever like we get in like mean fights is when we're drinking. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Emily will say some out of pocket I, shit. I can say some, which I'm not a, I'm not a She's mean girl. She's not, but sh something just gets switched in her brain and she comes from my throat. And I'm like, it's something that you say that like triggers me. Yeah. Yes, we're sisters, we're gonna fight. But I'm not an angry drug, don't get it twisted. No, that rarely this is happens. rare. This is rare. Very rare. But. Usually we have Scary. the best time. Usually we have the best time. Yeah, usually we have a lot of fun. Someone Emotional. also asked if we ever get jealous of each other, and no, we don't. But Abby did have a phase when she was jealous of my freedom and lifestyle because of. I still get jealous of your lifestyle. Oh, okay. But I'm not like, I don't, it's not like a jealousy that's like. It's not envy. It's no, just jealousy. it's just like sometimes I'm like, dang, to yeah. have that life. Sometimes. Because, like, you know, when I don't have a kid, I have a lot more freedom. Like, I live in the city. I just do a lot more, like, things with people. Yeah. And she doesn't have those opportunities. I'm more, I'm but more you, like, I don't think that that's you anyway. That's true. Honestly, I, sometimes I think I just get jealous when I'm, like, when I'm in the, the mood idea of it, to though. go out. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could be going out like mm -hmm. them. But to be honest, no, I'm a homebody. And I there's nothing I love more than being a mom and being at home. So... It really, it works out, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's times I've been, like kind of just like when you went to Hawaii for 10 days, I was like, must be fucking oh, yeah. nice. That was nice, that was <laughs> Like I was kind of rude, I was like, 10 days, is that necessary? No, she, when I was in Mexico <laughs> last time, she was, no more trips. I was like, <laughs> so I get jealous of her travel plans. That's yes. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. It's super random, but do you guys know Micah from Love and Love is Blind in real life? Which really quickly, yes, I do know her in real life. Her and I used to like party together. Like not like that. We weren't like, not friends. We weren't friends, but we not would. Even we again. we had the, we ran in the same circle for a while when I was yeah. dating one of my ex boyfriends. She was in his circle, so I've hung out with her a few times. She's a really cool girl. Um, I also worked with Irina at Joey when I at a restaurant here. So <laughs> yes, I do know both of them in real life. Um, this lip combo is my new favorite. It is lasted oh, wait. all day. My friend Taylor. So this is my new lip. Share combo. the lip combo or else. Okay, <laughs> I got you, baby. So the, and the lip liner is literally five dollars. It's Rimmel London Cappuccino. I got it on Amazon, five dollars, and then the Sephora 32 Nude Blush, and then I put Mac Blankety on top. And I just kind of blended it all together. And, and it's like a perfect neutral. You haven't touched that up in a long time. I haven't touched it up at all since this morning, and it's five o'clock. And this is this lip liner. I'm like, dang, how is it still there? Yeah, I'm gonna buy five? more. I'm, buy, I'm buying back I need up. that too. Yeah, you need it. It's I need like that a too. really, it's a really pretty neutral brown. And actually, I love the formula of it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, someone asked, a lot do of I want asked. more kids? And. Okay, so to me, the, the flat answer is I don't know. I it's up in the air. think that I could see myself either, either or. I could see myself having an only child and being so happy with that, or I could see myself having one more when Emily gets pregnant and Laura and like my friends around me are having babies. I don't want to get FOMO. No. And that's not a reason to have Wait. a kid, by the way. I'm not, oh, I'm, no. I'm more mature than that. I know. A kid is a huge lifelong but commitment. But you also know you're such a good but mom. Know, and and Tatum, like, Tatum is so wants, obsessed. Tatum wants a baby Tatum sister. Just asked her. He'd be the best big brother. And I feel like, like I don't know. I don't want to regret it later in life. This is something I sibling. think about a lot. It's like, I think if I didn't have another kid, I would regret it later on in life. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. There, I there's think a lot to need consider. a pregnancy pact. Oh, Oop, the oven just went off. I need to go take those out and we're gonna let them cool off and we're gonna answer a few more questions. Someone asked for the favorite restaurant in Seattle slash Bellevue area, need new spots. Mine is Joey. I will always go to Joey. Joey is great. Then and then Earl's. Earl's is good in Bellevue. That's in Bellevue. Mm -hmm. STK is great in STK Bellevue. Is bomb. The food's so good. Very so expensive. expensive. Very expensive. But bomb. bomb. Um, what else is good? There, oh my gosh, I feel like I have so many. I love Barolo. What's, yeah, I was gonna say that Italian place you like. Barolo is so good in Seattle. It's an Italian place. And that's good for now. Yeah, that's a few. <laughs> I'll just give you a few. Yeah, and if you're gonna do brunch, I love um, 
What's it called? Ben Paris has really good brunch food. Mm. It's bomb. Okay. I still have yet to try that. Um, also local. Y'all's mans get along. Have they developed a romance? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Okay, he, okay. So, honestly, Jake gets along with every guy I've dated though. Jake will get along with all of them, but he has things to say. Yeah. But he he'll, yeah, he'll hide it. Igor is by far his favorite. Mm -hmm. Um he yeah. I mean I don't need to go into too much detail. But <laughs> He says to me all the time, he's like, this is the best thing Emily's had in a while. Like, this is yeah. the best thing. Obviously, we, I won't say I, it, yeah, actually. I've had, no, I've had you a couple had, you've great had boyfriends. had one good one. Really yeah, amazing one. <laughs> one, which, like, you know, like, he's like a like, low-key kind of a brother. We grew up with him, so I'll always love him. But Igor, I just know that that's not your person. Yeah, but yeah, you knew that we weren't compatible. Like, you he were was a good man, but yeah. he wasn't for me. And it's like, I wanted you to be, you need to be fully confident in who you're with. So, I think yeah. Igor is amazing. I think he's... Yeah, a really great they guy. Do, they do. Like, we went to dinner like two nights ago and we got to the restaurant. And then Jay goes, Hey, Igor, you want to go get a drink at the bar? Because we had Tatum waiting. Yeah. And like, they just went and left us yeah. <laughs> to go to the bar. Which was but cute. I don't like that. I want our men to get along. That's no, huge. I feel like if who we're with, they don't get along, that would create such a divide between oh, yeah. us. And it has. And it, it has. has. And it's like, that's a deal breaker. Well, not them getting along, you getting along. But also, <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah, it was never Jake. It was always you not getting well, along no, with them. Well, no, I mean, I Jake, you have a lot of like loyalty Jake, to me. But Jake can also like, yeah, he can separate himself from you. But I'm more protective yes, of you, exactly. so I would, I would go in on some of your exes, and uh, oh. they didn't like me. By right, the way, we need, we need to just do like two more. Okay, hold on. Someone was asking, do you like, do you think Botox is worth it? Yes. Oh yeah. But I'm glad you brought that up too because if I look weird in this video, I talked about it in the last one. But I got masseter Botox, and I can't smile correctly. Yeah. Like it's. Very awkward. It, like, because look it at mine. It stops me. This like, is normal. Why, and I look not. like a square. Yeah, it like shortens this. It's like it like <laughs> literally gives me like a like a straight like box. Like a square. square. I hate it. Um, but Botox is so worth it. Um, always get obviously the top, the middle, and I love getting the brow lift like a couple units at the yes. very tail of your brow, and then crow's feet. Your makeup will never look better. You're smooth. You're tight. Even it's Jake's amazing. fully addicted to Botox. Since we're on the topic, someone asked how we afford filler. And I mean, you just got a budget for it. We've got, you got a budget for it. We have had free filler. We've had free lip mm -hmm. filler. We've had free um, Botox. under eye filler. We've had some free filler in our day. Yes. But it's oh, something that yeah. obviously you have to budget for. Just like hair, nails. I'd stop getting nails. I'm like, I'm, I'm saving money where I can. Botox is something that is really important to me because I want to... You know, I'm um, age gracefully, as Laura says. Yes. <laughs> I want to age gracefully. I don't want, you can't prevent well, aging. Also, You're gonna we age. have very strong face muscles. So yeah. we need it more than the average person. Our mom, she lifts her eyebrows and she has like one line. I'm like, mom, I'm like, I this is need BS. More. Got that from our dad, which is fine. It's fine. But you just have to like prioritize it and cut where you can. Like if, if you need to stop getting your nails done if you need to stop buying new clothes for a while if you need to start shopping at winco <laughs> okay but one other thing i will say we hold on to filler really well our yeah. face does so we don't we haven't gotten filler in, in over, over a year, year and a half a year and a half i haven't had filler in a long time it's yet. been a long time and, and it's it's and people think we're always getting filler we no. really don't get it very often at we all. really don't. and every time we've gotten lip filler it's been half a syringe at a time yeah we're not like getting a full syringe we did a video all about fillers if you're interested you can watch it on our channel but i said i would never get temple filler again because that was so stupid but i like take that back so this yeah, is a thing I've got it twice. things you say on youtube sometimes you just can't hold people to what they say because you can change your mind yeah and people get really upset when influencers yeah, you said are you never they, that. yeah like what do you mean you said you'd never do it's like well people can change their mind yeah. like relax i also said i would never get my extensions out and here i am with a bob yeah i'm hungry yeah. let's go let's eat go our eat. sandwiches let's show you guys we've it been talking so good. real fast so sorry if that was really hard to watch or follow along with no i think it was me. okay the sandwiches are ready i'm so excited yeah. oh yeah we gotta put the um lettuce oh yeah out. i should do that let's take off the top layer and put on the lettuce real quick. Hold on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. <laughs> he eats when I get the... Yeah, because they have a gas stove, and this is really hard to clean, honestly. It's not like an electric rig. You just wipe it it's down. You have to take a, off all these things. such a pain, and I never want to do it. I'm lazy. Oh, my God. This looks so good, you guys. I That's hope it, I hate when it, like, looks good, but it doesn't taste good. That happens. Okay, we're going to just do a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm going to be really careful. Just a teeny, tiny bit. 
Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Perfect. First impression. Look at, wait, do I get Okay. Mm. I'm glad we put the mayo on it. I feel like we maybe needed more meat. I was gonna say that too. I mean, but actually here, this is better. This is better that's so representation. Good. But yeah, this is actually really good. I think we needed two layers of the salami and the pepperoni. I mean, I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. That's delicious, honestly. This would be a really good little snack. Like snack? <laughs> well, snack for like people if you're having people over. Mm -hmm. Like an appetizer. Mm -hmm. Is what I meant. <laughs> well, we're gonna eat this. We yeah. do not. We do not think that we are cute eaters, so we won't put you guys through that. No. But we hope you might. Guys. I think we might go on TikTok live, so you guys should follow yeah. us on TikTok so you can you watch our lives. You should follow us on TikTok because we've been trying to post more. Because we actually love TikTok. We just feel annoying sometimes posting there. But we're gonna we're gonna try and get that out of our head and just post more because we do love TikTok. I feel like as much as I was a hater of it at the start. That is my favorite social media app besides YouTube. It's the one I spend the most time on. Yeah. I actually want to delete it because I spend too much time on it. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. And to everyone who uses our White Fox code, literally, thank you so much yes. for doing that. Not that we appreciate anyone who doesn't use it, but this is like a dream job for us and this is like a yeah. dream partnership for us. We were talking us. about that when we were changing in between try on clips and we were both like, this is literally a dream come mm -hmm. true like this is our job like this is crazy i mean it's one of our jobs we just it's all thanks to you guys we love doing this so not, much yeah we would not be having these opportunities without you guys and we Seriously. know that yeah so it means the world to us it's actually it's not even the people who use our code it's anyone who Supports watches us, yes. likes the video uses our comment. links in general yeah yeah like, just it means the support. A lot. Yeah. Any type of support we get, we're just even so just a comment for. on our YouTube video or a comment on our picture. So yeah. engagement it, is just as important. If you guys like our videos, yeah. that still means the world to us. Yeah. And we will never take that for granted. Never. Ever. And we hope you guys it's know. It's actually crazy. I'm like yeah. still don't even understand why people even yeah. care. But we're super grateful. Yeah. We're and super we hope you guys love our content. Still, and I hope you guys know that we really appreciate you guys and recognize yeah how much you guys have like uplifted us and mm -hmm. given us the confidence because you guys hyping us up gives us the confidence that we didn't have. Well, it also pushes us because it's like sometimes I we won't feel good about a video and we post it and all the sweet comments I'm like yeah we almost didn't post this and you guys are so sweet and you mm -hmm. guys tell us how much you love our video you love these videos thank mm -hmm. you so much for posting you, I'll watch anything you guys post like yeah. those comments do not go. Like, no. I'm smiling at my phone. The wine we just got love you. A little, yeah, a little, little lovey-dovey. Just a little <laughs> glass of wine, then we're pouring our hearts out to you guys. But we really are so grateful and so appreciative of everyone here who yes. who just supports this channel and makes yeah. mine and Emily's life, like, so much more fun. Like, without this, I don't literally. know what the fuck we would do. Yeah, literally. Anyway. Okay, anyways, this video is so long, so thank you to anyone who is still here. We love yes. you so much. And thank you, White Fox, for sponsoring. Thank you, White Fox. We literally love you. Oh, Forever. that reminds me. We need to... Send in our selects before oh, yeah. we leave. Okay, we love you babes so much and we will see you guys in our next video. XOXO, XO, XO, make a night twins. Mwah.